Here's everything you need to know to start, monetize, and grow your live streams. Live streaming allows you to have a more personal one-on-one -on -one connection with your audience, heck, even more personal than this video right now. And with StreamYard's forever free version, you can get started live streaming today. Live streaming gives your audience the opportunity to interact with you one-on-one, -on -one, ask questions, or even get feedback. Live streaming also allows you to build a community around your content and really lets you showcase your personality or what your brand's about. StreamYard not only makes it easy for you to go live, but keep your live streams and edit them later into pre-recorded content. This gives you value when you're live streaming and long after. Next, let's talk about the different streaming platforms. There's YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, etc. I'll be sure to include a link in the description for all the platforms that StreamYard supports. Now, each platform has its own unique strengths and features, but you need to choose what works best for your content and the audience you want to build. For StreamYard, we've obviously chosen YouTube, and that's because of the value you not only get when you're live, but after with the replay. YouTube simply has the longest shelf life of any platform. However, if you're using the paid versions of StreamYard, you can live stream to multiple platforms at once. If you'd like to try the paid versions of StreamYard, we'll have a link in the description down below. Moving on, let's talk about equipment. Now, you don't need fancy equipment to go live. All you really need is a stable internet connection, some decent lighting, a phone or a webcam, and reliable internet. My first ever live stream on my personal channel was done using this Google Pixel 3. I had a window as my main source of light, and I had over 40 viewers watching live. This isn't to say that equipment isn't important. Obviously for this video, I'm using a lot of equipment. I'm using a microphone, a professional light, a professional camera, but the point is, all you really need to get started is an idea, an internet connection, and hopefully, StreamYard. Now, let's move on to growing your audience. Growing an audience on any platform is gonna take time and effort. However, there are things you can do to help speed up that process. You can promote your live streams on social media, collaborate with other live streamers or podcasters in your space, and connect with your viewers both when you're live and when you're not. When you're not live streaming, you can do some research for some relevant topics or keywords to help make your content discoverable. You can use YouTube's own keyword research feature, which is available on both desktop and mobile device to see what your audience is searching for and come up with content ideas. I'll look up the idea, how to live stream on YouTube, which as you can see is highly searched and even has a content gap meaning I can fill this gap with the content we make here on StreamYard. Next is that you wanna be active and participate in communities around the content you create. Some recommendations are Facebook pages, Reddits, or even Discord servers. Our next topic is how to make money while live streaming or monetization strategies. The good thing is that there are several ways that you can make money while live streaming. Things like a sponsored stream, donations, merchandise sales, or even the advertising revenue if you're streaming on YouTube. You can also sign up for affiliate programs for products and services you actually use. Even if you're starting in affiliate marketing and may not meet the requirements that a lot of them have, you could consider joining a referral program like we have here at StreamYard. The beauty of referral programs is that you can show to other brands the value that you have when you connect with your audience and then use those stats to help you make a better brand deal pitch. With all of these options, AdSense isn't the only way to make money on YouTube. Do keep in mind, there's nothing wrong with focusing on monetization. However, I'd recommend focusing on creating quality content and building a community first. Live streaming is a great way to create content and build a community around your brand. Live streaming takes time and energy to grow, but honestly, anything worth doing does. When it comes to live streaming, stay consistent, engage with your audience, and work on improving one thing over your previous stream. If you're doing those things I just mentioned, but are not getting views on your streams, check out that video on screen for why your live streams are not getting views. I'm Andrew Can, and I wanted to thank StreamYard for having me, and you for watching.